new slider bushing installation. The ring nut and the base assay remain installed on the TGB mast. This will be the base of the slider bushing insertion tool. Proceed to tighten together by hand the reaction rod and the guide assay. Proceed to install the assembly just formed in the back of the TGB. The reaction rod needs to be in contact with the inner base of the TGB. Remember to sustain the assembly because it's not locked yet in front of the part. Proceed to heat up the TGB mast. Be careful with the heat gun. Do not point it on the TGB seals and do not exceed 100 degrees Celsius. Do not freeze or cool down the slider bushing. After heating up the TGB mast, proceed to install the new slider bushing. To install correctly, follow the guide vanes on the base assay. This is the pusher assay. Immediately after the insertion by hand of the slider bushing, proceed to install and tighten the pusher assay on the guide assay. Quickly turn the nut of the pusher assay until the new slider bushing is in its correct position in the TGB mast. After the slider bushing installation, proceed to remove from the TGB mast the pusher assay, the guide assay, the reaction rod and the base assay. Installation is now complete. The new slider bushing is in its position against the TGB mast. I conclude by thanking all of you for your attention. And remember, the constant learning mindset and regular recurrent training are important aspects for certifying staff personnel in order to guarantee enhanced safety performance and sustainability for the entire aviation system.